Hey everyone, and welcome to a brand new Planet Zoo video. Today, with a bit of a different one. For all those years, I've been building myself and barely using anything from the workshop, but today we are looking at the top workshop items. I'm gonna do like a tiny review of them, but before we obviously need to grab them. What we are not going to do is we're not going to look into a full park, but we are going to look into the best dioramas, we're going to look into the best habitats, the best building, the best shelter, um, and also the best nature slash scenery piece. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check these uh, wonderful areas, but first of all let's go and check out the very most uh, subbed to item we have. 106,000 things what the heck um, and then we can say uh, what there you go um, the most uh, subscribed to and then you can see this is the every time listing and this is actually look at that the reptile center over here um, this is actually kind of crazy to be honest um, a really really ginormous thing um, I think that was back in the day from Paul Slay um, I figure that he had a lot of things in there um, that are, you know, are in the most subscribed ever to look at that. 336,000. Um, I think we can almost already get this because this is obviously a uh, habitat. Is it though? Well, let's take a, have a look first of all. We're going to go through the different uh, categories. First of all, let's check Diorama out and then we go to the obviously the most favorite ones and to all over it's not mine ah, what a shame i have actually uh, grounded this but i didn't even start it look alice in wonderland i'm gonna click on it and uh, just to say this is from mystic falls okay you're gonna have to see that because otherwise um you know credit isn't going where it deserves look at all these amazing dioramas also i love that one over here french little village is there anything from me actually on the first page i figure people don't really sub to my stuff that much i'm barely on the first pages anyways um people seem to just like but also i I'm very late at uploading these things, so yeah, it's a shame, but it's actually looking very, very cool. Look at that, the lady also has one uh, very classic map available to people. Leaf has some Zoo Tycoon 2 intro scenes. Uh, Minas Tirith is also pretty, pretty impressive, saw that one. I'm just gonna, because out of curiosity, I wanna see if there's anything for me in here. Uh, I think that is mine, actually. The, no, it's, not my, it's mine. Yeah, look at that. The t actually, this is the one I, I, I like the least. <laughs> and this is the first one. It's in there. Actually, it's crazy. I'm not even sure if I did upload all the other ones, though. Whatever. It's not my video. It's about other people. Okay, so Diorama is uh, checkmarked. So let's go further into a uh, Habitat build. So first of all, let's go to Habitat. And then we say, um, yeah, total. And this is not, that, this, that's not habitat though, this is rocks, um, but it's actually good to see because that should be scenery items, we can actually check this already from Sir Didymus, uh, I guess it's the name, and then we also have this education center, we have already checked that out from Serial, this is absolutely astonishing because yeah, I've already downloaded that in the past, so okay, let's actually see if that's the habitat, it's not fair, you know, this is actually the habitat we should look at, um, so I'm going to put this down once again, I figure people haven't seen that when I did this. Oh my god, look at that, my half dome is very much to the front. I haven't even expected it to be that high, but hey, that's cool. Um, then we go into the building, and let's see what the best building is. And so, uh, oops, uh, total. I mean, some people have always the, the you know, um, the, the, the check mark, but then we have the uh, reptile house over here. Look at that, the lotus thing over here. Let's say reptile center. And also you can see uh, who has favorite this. It's, uh, Sylph has favorite this from my friends. Look at that. Um, so we've done this and then we're gonna also go to um, shelter large. Let's have a look what's in here. The basic classic dome shelter is no wait, it's one week. Let's go to total. Forgot that. The natural shelter with a small waterfall. How cozy that already sounds from Pixel West 89. Uh, must be a very early one because Pixel West haven't seen him playing this game uh, lately. So, okay. Um, so, shelter is done too. And now the last thing we are going to go for is actually scenery. I think it is. Uh, scenery, scene, nature. Let's let's put nature and scenery in one, so both of them activated. Okay, so it's actually the rocks as intended um, and also expected. Okay, so it's the rocks. Look at the tiger overpass by the lady, also very up there. Uh, I'm wondering if we should, you know, I thought I didn't, but let's, let's also do like a shop or is there like a gift shop? I want to have the best gift shop, okay? It's not even that of an old one, so we should get some very cool... Wait, hold on. This is a gift shop in there? Uh, hold on. What the heck? Oh, wait, it's not like... Ah, okay, see, this is... This is not the... Mm, 
Okay, how do we how do we see what is the gift shop? Let's actually check the last year because that should then have the gift shop implemented. And this is the Barnyard DLC shop and toilet. Yeah, that is brilliant because that one from Anik Mandra um, obviously has the actual gift shop contained. So the other one, it's you know it's labeled as a gift shop, but it's not actually a gift shop um, as it is in the game. You know the souvenir shop. Actually, do we have a souvenir shop tag? Not really, right? Ah. Ah, that's, that's okay. That would have been nice to just have a souvenir, uh, souvenir, <laughs> souvenir shop um, stuff over here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly um, get this in here, shop and toilet. But I'm gonna put in souvenir and then see if we can uh, get something. Total, total, total souvenir shop from Docosal. Is that the one we have in the game? I wish to. Okay, this is definitely one of those that we have in game. Gosh, it's looking super slick and modern. Uh, how many downloads? Eight and a half thousand. Well, it, you know, it's kind of new. So let's let's have this as a, um, you know, honorable mention because of the search. So from Doskal, okay? So we're going to sub this too. And uh, now, obviously, we're going to see each other in an empty map and look at all these beautiful things. All right now, so here we are now in the real-time part, and you can see I plopped them all down, and uh, let's quickly go over them. So I want to start with these nature things, because these are like a different shelter variants, and honestly, the reason why they are obviously so famous is because that is uh, full-on nostalgia, full-on kick zoo tycoon, because that's like all of these shelters you had there for the lions and so on as well, and then different variants and different rocks, you can fill them in in every you know, in every different uh, biome you're in. And also, funny enough, they're all unique in their, you know, in their sense, it's like everything is the same. It's not like copy paste or so. Um, and look at that. I mean, you've got a relatively big one. Um, it's also kind of spacious, to be honest. And then you go over here. That's like a bit more of a nice one to travel through. Very nice, always labeled also for tropical. This is just like a tunnel, also very nice shelter. Um, this one over here is insane. It looks really cool with a lot of these uh, tiny pieces and that just kind of creates this almost like sandstone vibe also paying tribute to obviously what this is desert you know um, so little aspects of each um, biome is also in here uh, totally in love with the savannah one over here because you've got this shelter in very big one like it's a kind of huge one and then they can actually also travel on top of it which is which is really really damn cool um, this one over here I love the most this is really really cool that one comes close because of the little water feature you have over here and you can you know always take them and bring them down uh, one one little caveat of these things and I'm back in this camera is that they do not come as a as a group or so um, like this is a huge blueprint um, obviously but this could have been as a habitat and then you can make them however they are so simply placed it's like just a little caveat you can just you know easily grab them like this it's no big deal uh, and then plop them down where you need them it's so like a tiny one over here really really love that um, let's go over quickly to Paul's uh, wonderful reptile center and I think this one is the essence of Planet Zoo in a way that I feel like it's not awfully complicated and it's totally like it, it is a little bit against my personal building style because it's using many pieces as intended <laughs> and when you know me you know it's not really my kind of thing to do it um, but you can see how it works if you use things intentionally and I feel like people out there like a majority of people who just want to play obviously would favor exactly this approach to use pieces as they are intended to be because they don't want to spend hours and hours like I do you know searching for the right usage of a chimney or whatnot um, and people want to just use the chimney as a chimney and and just try to mix and match things as much as they can and I totally love that I totally love the simplicity you know using all the same plants here and there just rotate them I would I would barely ever do this because it I don't know it just kind of seems repetitive to me but looking at this now while it's not mine I'm like, hey, that just this just works, okay? Um, but yeah, also these roofs are totally amazing. I know there is like a couple of really cool tutorials how to make these dome roofs, um, but whenever I look at them, they just look fantastic. You know, they just look absolutely fantastic. Super clean. And if we go in, you can see in here we have um, just a little pond in the middle, making this very spacious, like this bit of a modern piece over here, uh, like a waterfall. You've got the boa over here. Um, actually, I think there are no animals in. Um, usually they don't come with the animals, do they actually? No, it's empty. You know, it, it is set as a boa habitat, but there are no animals and I need to put them in. Um, myself I you know sometimes I wish like at least for these reptile like habitats or small exhibits I think that would be really cool to to just have them in 
why buy them? It's just kind of annoying. I, you know, I understand that for the normal habitats, but I don't know. But yeah, you can see this is like very straightforward, you know, a very simple habitats, not really making the size look smaller or bigger or whatnot, and just just play with the items given, and all of a sudden you have this very nice build, which is obviously um, the build takes like a fraction of the time it would take me to build a building like that. But at the end, does it look so different? I mean, in the detail, you would be able to, to tell, obviously. Um, and it would look maybe super fantastic if you do certain things. But is it worth the like 8, 10x of time you spent into? Does it look 10 times better? I really doubt it. So sometimes I'm like, I, you know, I would still do that because I'm the kind of... I'm the type of person who, who does it and it's totally fine. But looking at that, it just always reminds me of the fact that I yeah, would not need to do this, you know? Because I feel like this is the perfect segue going into the Nautilus Education Center over here. That one, my friends, we have to just go as an explore mode in. Um, we've looked at that already a year or two ago or even longer ago when I looked at um, this wonderful Yellowstone map, I believe it was. Oh boy, this looks absolutely freaking insane. Like if we go in, you can see this is like super modern. You also have these exhibits in here. Uh, but as I said, like this is a totally different way of approaching it. You now have everything is so slick and it, it looks almost like as if it's not the piece that we all know. You've got these education thingies you can take with you. Um, you do have like a little bit of a reminder because it's, it's made like a fossil, you know. And then you've got this uh, fossil as like a, a tour and you start 530 million years ago and you just creep up to like the modern age more or less and you've got all these little habitats you've sounds in here you've got sounds in here even more education in here look i mean even the bin is like integrated nicely and just if you go through here that is just i mean that's like a different level but as i said this this build would have easily taken eight nine ten times the amount of time than this one over there and yeah i mean you can see it yourself now is it really that much better uh, is it just a little better or it is it, you know i mean ob objectively seen or like just trying to rate that obviously this one is a better build in sense of uh, realism and detail and stuff like that but yeah for for the experience i don't really know i like by the way the way this speaker is integrated just so good yeah, I mean, I know it. This is why I'm not going to go too crazy about this build because it's one of these few buildings I do actually know. Um, you even have this like center area here as a habitat, but we, we just actually go up here. Uh, we are now 30 million years into the past. Really love that. And then we can go up this little hill over here. Look at that. I didn't have um, the pathway laid down. So this is all custom made just for your information. So there is no path or whatsoever in here. It's just all custom made. It's ridiculous. Um, you've got the cassowary over here. I feel like this is the animal that we have in here. First A is 160 million years ago. And then if you go in here, you're greeted by this fantastic interior area ah oh, that looks that looks just really really damn impressive and so yeah this build in general is just like you can follow the whole thing ah oh, that is so wonderful he's got an education thingy over there yeah i'm just absolutely madly in love with this build uh, from day one till this day so it's it's so so cool you know if you zoom out look this is how it looks from above it looks like this kind of fossil you'd find somewhere and then Ah, you even have this huge in structure, structure change, the color, lighting. Look, I mean, this is, uh, this is just, look at this. The customizability is absolutely ridiculous. Look, you can even change all these, this, like, the, 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 oh God. This is, this is the dream blueprint, my friends. I, I can't say any difference. I, if you have my blueprints ever used, they're all, like, you have to use them the way they are, okay? So, <laughs> there's no flexibility. But then you have, like, this insane build, and it's even flexible. I can't anymore. It is ridiculous. Okay, so this is our wild card. So, we look at this the last. as the souvenir shop um, I decided to just grab in. So, we continue with the actual favorites. Also, the last thing we are going to do is the diorama, by the way, uh, because we obviously have to load into the diorama. This is the... Um, a little, so a little shop uh, that made it from Anik Mandra. And, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is so cozy, the barnyard shop. I like this little Hofladen over here. She's German. I know her. So, um, that's kind of cool that she actually was in top spot. Um, so, Anik Mandra, hey, if you're watching this. But, yeah, I love that. Also, um, I gotta show you something because this is of the one of the few builds that actually 
has light sorted out, which is one of these things I never do either. So here you go. Lights are sorted out. Oh, well, obviously the Nautilus is sorted out too. Oh, oh God, of course it is. Um, but the rest isn't that much. You can see also this one is just barely. It's like the lights you have. But look at that one. It's just very nicely lit. And um, yeah, just wanted to quickly show you. Let's go back to the normal daytime. And I like especially this one, like with the fallen trip, tripped over bucket over here where the flowers are grown out and just like the, the wheel and just like overgrown, just water tower. Um, these one of the rock stone walls over here. Look at them. Ah, they are so nicely done. So nicely done. I love the fact that they have basically copied people and just brought these in as a blueprint, these lovely walls. They look so cool with the high balls and like very overgrown toilet over here. Yeah, big fan of it. Let's go next to this very standard shelter build. And what shall I say? Um, if I said this is the essence of Planet Zoo for a building, then this is the essence of Planet Zoo for a shelter. Um, I feel like this is one of the coolest and slickest and, and most Planet Zoo builds I've seen on the workshop. Uh, it is absolutely fantastic. It, it captures the essence of the original Planet Zoo trailer, I think, inch perfect. This could very well be the uh, shelter that the grizzly bears had in the trailer. I remember they had a very simple one, but this one would have been the better one. Using the very obvious pieces from the game, nothing is crazy, you know, it's not like the craziest detail, but it's exactly enough to sell the idea of a wonderful little habitat. And I I'm madly in love. You've got everything you need, a couple of enrichment items, you've got some lights in here, um, you've got this wonderful shelter for the animals, it's uh, sizable enough to fit in even, even bears and so on. I am absolutely very much blown away and I can definitely understand why this is number one. As I said, it just all ties in, you know? The reason why these type of buildings are on number one, and not my buildings, for example, or some of Sylph's, or even some of uh, Caesar's, or like Lighter, they, like these people, <coughs> they are insanely good at building, but I feel almost like that other people, they are not looking for these insane builds, and even my builds that are a little bit more simple are way more up the order, simply because people need usable stuff, and it I've been talking so often about this that I'm like the one thing I really dislike about Planet Zoo's behavior in blueprints is the fact that if you go for a blueprint, let me just do this before we go there. You can see if I click on this one, you can see the tags over here uh, sorted and there's like a lot of stuff in here because obviously all of these items have been used. So if I'm going to go for the shelter, for example, um, the simple shelter, this is that one. Not that many tags, well actually yeah, still because of all the animals, but you don't see all the different packs you'll need for that one because this is done with the base game. It's a super old one. So you can see there's only all the animals given in here, but you can see there's not a single... Um, pack involved but as soon as you go to something else um for example like these builds over here so i'm just going to type in souvenir you'll see that you have also all the packs involved over here so south american packs south africa and as soon as you use one single piece from a pack this building requires the entire pack to build it and i mean this not by purchasing them but i mean to research them for example in franchise mode so it's not like if this is labeled as a classic plan zoo building you will be not able to put it down unless you have actually downloaded every single, or not downloaded, but uh, researched every single pack, which I, I think this is something that shouldn't be the case. If this is labeled as a classic Planet Zoo thing, you should be able to put it down right away into your zoo when you have the Planet Zoo stuff research, which normally is by default, and then you can just not edit it, you know? There is a function in this game that in franchise mode, or like in any other mode, these buildings are blocked when you don't have, for example, when you did purchase a certain uh, DLC you can still look at these things but you cannot save the game or edit the building so why not just block editing the building and then you're done anyways let's go back into this one into the explore mode and I love this souvenir shop already I love the simplicity of the walls over here with these little items I'm gonna definitely steal the idea to use these things as pillars Making them gray almost looks like concrete, and I do dig this. I do love that. Okay, let's quickly go in, and ooh. Also, have you uh, this? Like, have you noticed the sound again? I'm not sure how loud I will put the music, but this is, this is insane. Like, you've got all the outside sounds, and then you go in, and it's all muffled. Oh boy, I, I still love how this game. The game's audio design. Oh, look at the bamboo as an idea. Oh, this is so clever. Hidden this thing in here in the middle uh, with bamboo. And is this, by the way, is this all... 
it's, it's individually placed. Are you kidding me? Oh, not, not all of them, right? Just just a couple. Ah, that's so clever. Okay, so they added a couple of these in. Ah, this is so clever. So because this is max, and if I go to mass, ah, there you go. You can see how much, ah, this is so, so interesting. Ah, I love that. I love that. Oh, wait, I have to, they are switching. Ooh, I broke it. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, I, I, I think I can rev reverb it, right? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna, oh god, I, I'm gonna put my fingers away now. I'm a kid, I'm not a kid, I'm not a kid, I'm not a kid. Okay, I'm, I'm a kid, so I've got balloons. I'm not a kid. Um, so, oh, look at these caps, love them. And then you've got all these things in here. Lovely shirt, and oh, this shop design in the background, is kind of, it's kind of Korean, isn't it? This, like, this is a shop I would expect, like a Korean kind of style shop. And also, if I remember to my, all my holidays in like um, Spain, there are some on, you know, on the promenade or like on the beach uh, side, there are some some shops there also in this type of very modernist style with some beach vibes included. But they're also like very Asian, Korean inspired, new modern. I'm, I'm not sure how you would pronounce that, but or like call it. But yeah, this is that. Oh, look at this. Dang, it's so cool. Like the souvenir shops add so much to the game if you do it right. And this is done right. Also, I've never seen this, but oh my God, this is so clever. Look at that. Like this little detail here that you have this kind of little, what is this even? Sign, paperwork, whatever to to this flower. Like this, this basket as if it's just purchased and put here. Oh boy, I love that. Really love that. Also some hats over here. They are not in game, so this is uh, like these. These are not souvenir items. So oh, I love that. Um, also like the umbrellas put here. Gosh, I love it. Very very cleverly done. Very very cleverly done. Some paperwork over here too. Yeah, love it. Okay, so that is a definitely a definitely very good honorable mention. Is there any like the detail on the back? Not really. Um, I quite like it. I quite like the way it is. Okay, let's jump over into the diorama real quick and then we see each other after the cut. Holy moly macaroni. This is the Alice in Wonderland um, diorama and honestly it took a while to load in and I was figuring what the heck is going on. Now I know absolutely what is going on. Look at this guys. Oh boy. This is so cleverly done but then again this is so many pieces as well. So, first of all, I want to just applaud the creator for the usage of these. I think this is the best usage I've ever seen of these baskets, like the conservation plastic crate. Like, honestly, the top, top one. This is the best usage ever. Also, the way how it's cleverly done with these, like, book pages and, and using these thatch pieces here to um, create this uh, little bit of old paper vibes and, and just simplicity of the usage of the carpets and stuff oh boy that is looking absolutely fantastic and i can definitely get over the repetitiveness of the books i would have done this the exact same way because like this is so much work um look at these little custom made cards over here oh i do appreciate that look at this oh that's so cool my god this is really really freaking awesome Alice in Wonderland. Look at that. We definitely have to check out a couple of things. Obviously, we have different scenes from the movie or from the story, I should say. Um, I love the fact that we have like a little exhibit in here with the butterflies. I mean, this is this is a given, but I love the way how we have all these animated butterfly thingies over here. I think I've never seen them used, being used by anyone. <laughs> I feel like they are so out of place for Planet Zoo in general, but they are absolutely in place for this type of build. So. Hell yeah, uh, that looks all absolutely fantastic. And then we feel a little sign over here, look at that. Wrong way, that way, this way, habit hall, tea party. Okay, so, <laughs> um, like it, so little notches to the movie. Um, next time she's got up here, a little pathway up. Yeah, this clock is obviously, the rabbit's clock is wonderful, yonder. Um, this way, back, <laughs> this is so good. This is so freaking nicely done. Like with all these effects, yeah, like you're sucked into this wonderful little uh, forest, dark forest with the magic tree at the end. And obviously the, the everlasting tiles. Ah, oh, yeah, obviously you can actually use yourself in here pretty easily. Oh my god, even in here my computer is like, hey, I don't like all these VFX. Gosh, I have to upgrade my computer at some point. And then we've got one of the two castles. Look at that one. Ooh, hello! 
glad to see you. Hello? Okay, interesting. You're living in here. Oh, that is so cool. Is there anything in here? Peekaboo? Oh yeah, like, oh, 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 look at the tiny little, da little gate over here. I love that. I love that. It looks like a tiny gate, obviously, but it, I think it's, is it a window technically from these pieces? Yeah, but it's looking like a tiny, tiny gate. And I like this little effect, like with the backyard over here. Ooh, we've got another one. Hello, are you sleeping? You're doing good, right? Okay, I can definitely tell why this build is so much favored by the people. Tile design over here. It's like a very sizable diorama. It's very big. Ooh. And all the cards over here with the waterfall. A bit of murkiness out of this huge vase. God, so many pieces used in here. Oh my god, is this custom? I can't. Mm, once upon a time, welcome to the world of fairy tales. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sisters on the bank and of having nothing to do. Yeah, you can read yourself, but oh my god, is this cool. This is absolutely really, really, really cool. The custom font usage in here is absolutely on point. We've got the, the card guards. Card guards? They're called like this? Card guards? Um, let's see. So, did we miss out on anything? No, we didn't. Um, so we can get into this. Oh. Love it. The perfect lawn. <laughs> um, yeah, is. Do we have any animals living in here? That would be the perfect peafowl or flamingo gardens. Uh, um. 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 I mean, they are real, right? But, like, why are you standing like statues? Like, everyone is standing like a statue in here. I thought for a second I missed out on a statue. That, that we have flamingo statues in here. Can't they move? Is this like a, is this like a thing to put them in? Like, the, but they, like, hold on for a sec. No, oh, they can absolutely traverse. Okay, this is, this is pretty odd. I mean, they, they are too dehydrated to move, I assume. But hey, um, uh, this is where the entrance is. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a mini tiny fraction of a criticism. This could have been hidden away easily. Just move it over into the wall. No one would have mind or minded. Ah, okay. Otherwise, it's like 99 from 100 points so far. Uh, like tiny little things like this, it, I don't mind. For builds like this, I really don't mind. Like, it's like a weird person like me looking at these things, but... Anyways, this is just looking really cool. And again, and again, guys, um, we can we can finally take a conclusion over here. Like, all this hard shape over here. Uh, we can draw a conclusion of this video. I, I really had the... Oh my god, no, we missed out on that one. Look at this. Is this the same text? Oh, yeah. Down the rabbit hole. Whoop, blimp. And then we are in here, right? Oh, that's so cool. That is so freaking cool. And then we are in through. Ah, oh, fantastic, fantastic. Really, really like it. Okay. Anyways, um, I want to quickly draw a conclusion over here. Can I also look like we are we're doing this this way? We are doing the uh, scenic mode. I'm gonna put this in the center here and stop spinning at that speed. So I can do it that way. Awesome. So, um, I am absolutely happy and in awe that I did this test finally. I, you know, I barely look into the workshop. You know that I'm a person who wants to do everything by himself and just like, I don't know, it's my challenge, okay? But I feel like it's more than that. This game and the planet games in general and looking at potentially a new planet game rather soon it makes me realize again what made these games so strong in the first place. And it's not really about um, about what the game offers already as a game, but it's more like the, the community that has shaped everything around here. And I really like to see that all these pieces so high up in the workshop are not the ones from like the huge creators or the people who who spent a bajillion years uh, making one education board or a coaster entrance. It, it is 
from the people for the people and I really like the fact that the Steam Workshop aims for like everyone you know and these buildings being on top one and, and looking at this diorama being the first one even though I have started uh, literally this I, I mean it's the first time and maybe the only time in my life that I really can claim this as being mine because literally Frontier said that the, this mode was added due to my um, thing starting the dioramas. Thinking about this, I, it totally makes sense why my dioramas are not in here, because there are actually no dioramas, by the way. They are just, like, <laughs> I faked them, and I didn't do them in the diorama mode. That makes sense. Okay, never mind. Um, that was that was a weird one. I've, I've totally forgot about that. Actually, little side note aside, uh, this, is, this is what I love about this game, that these buildings like this one, which is Let's say 90% there, it's 90% perfect, and these 90% are absolutely enough to make for such a great build. The ingenuity, the creativity, and, and the love and passion that goes into it are equal to everyone else and everything else that's been done in the game. Do you need these 100% inch perfect builds? Well, if you are like me, yes, you need them. But the majority doesn't, and so it's so lovely to see that so many people share their work. Like, you've seen over 100,000 blueprints. Um, I I genuinely love to see all these things. It was a fun challenge, not, not challenge, but it was a fun little experiment to, to look at all these builds and see what people have been subbed the most to. And uh, here we are, looking at the most sub to diorama in the diorama mode, but you've also looked at all the other buildings. So. Um, congrats to everyone who made it there, but uh, never stop adding things to the workshop because this is what makes the Planet Games and I cannot wait to see a new game appear in the CMS genre of Frontier, a new Planet game where we all can go crazy again and exchange the pieces and maybe I'm gonna do this more in the future. If you've got some categories I left out or you want to see, let me know in the comments down below and tell me what's your favorite blueprint you've ever downloaded to the game. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I'm very curious and check them out what you've downloaded and you favorite the most so talk to you in the next one have a lovely little day and i talk to you in the next one have a good one bye